now guys today we will see about um, molding materials and properties molding materials only few okay but the help of those materials only we are uh, succeeding the molding process let us get inside so molding materials first one is the sand right second uh, patterns these two are very important these two only we going to see first of all uh, we will focus about sand as you can see the figures there is something called core and this is mold is nothing but the shape which we want outer side we have sand and there is a line partition line okay remember these names we will uh, going to use i told you bottom side box is track top side box is cope mold cavity and this is the core so what are the types of sand facing sand potting sand and core sand core sand is used to make the core if you have any hollow section we need to make that hollow section by using core sand only so we are go we are going to place the uh, core sand in uh, exactly the center portion so that portion will not be uh, filled with the mold and material so remaining things the gap mold will be filled by the mold and material finally if you are taking you will get one hollow by breaking this core sand right then partition lines are available cope and drag if both are we are using same materials and we are going to give some force from the top side from the cope what it will happen it will simply merge with each other if it is simply merge with each other means it is very difficult to remove it after the ramming process for removing the riser or any other thing so in we need to make some separation element that is like nothing like partition line okay we are using partition sand something different than the these two okay so it will be very easy and core sand facing sand is nothing but it will be phased over here in the mold time mold and uh, top side actually in this position uh, where direct contact is going to happen between the a mold surface do the molten material so that surface only going to have some high resistance if it is not what will happen at uh, during the high temperature metal uh, molten material will may have some reactions or it may try to melt the sand and it may produce some by product that is the thing we don't want right so th these portions will be covered by the phasing sand okay some uh, what are the properties we should know refractiveness nothing but it should resist at high temperature permeability is nothing but it should have some escaping point towards the hot gases which is entrapped during the molding process if your uh, sand having the moisture or water particle or any binder elements at high temperature it may uh, phase change will take place liquid to gas then it will try to escape if the if all the ways are closed it will be trapped inside the mold sometimes it may produce porosities in the casting so porosity means casting defect will be identified during the quality checking it will be based so for the purpose we need to give some escape point to the gas so if you are sand having good permeability it can allow the gases to escape okay whenever they need or else you can use vent wire to make some uh, vent holes artificially to escape the gases green strength is nothing but a strength before we going to the next uh, next process when uh, sand means we are reaming after the reaming process it should bind with each other so that it can remain the shape okay or else what will happen putting the upside down of the uh, uh, flask it will collapse right if you want to know what is green sand take a dry sand put it inside your hand just compress it you after removing the force it may have some uh, type of defects or uh, some deformations or cracks or the same thing you take some sand or go to beach take the sand put it inside your hand again you give the force you can release the force you can see how it is looks like the shape remain the same similar or else um, we can take some other example okay dry strength without any without any moisture content binders at the high temperature both will be operated only the remaining sand will be available so if the sand should have the ability to withstand the shape that is called dry strength hard strength uh, during a hot high temperature it should remain the strength and the shape of the cavity that is called hard strength okay collapsibility is nothing in each each uh, readily mixing with other elements right that's a thing and uh, you can see the uh, mold sand composition base sand binder and moisture base base sand is nothing but the sand which we are using foundry sand or casting sand binders are needed so that it will be easily bind with 
each other particles moisture are needed then only you can easily uh, have the flow having the easily having the flow so that you can remit any any shape it can easily occupy those things right so these are all the things and uh, we have binder clay binder organic binder and inorganic uh, binders uh, depending upon your usage you can take moisture contents water we can use or some other items if you want sodium bionate and silica sand you can use in the silica sand you can use that as a uh, uh, water as a uh, moisture element okay so if you want you can use anything but remember if you are using excess moisture it will be operate during the casting process okay whenever you pouring the molten metal it try to escape gases okay remember for that and thanks for watching and uh, kindly go for next session also we are having continuous parts for the uh, this uh, casting process